Back home locally, uh, not bad. Temperatures made it back into the upper 40s yesterday in Eugene and Corvallis, down into Roseburg as well. Heading out to the coast, it was mid 40s for you. Low 40s heading over into central Oregon. And we did see a few folks in uh, the southern and eastern part of the state that managed to stay uh, down into the mid 30s with some colder air moving in. Even a little bit of light snow as you head over into Boise. Also uh, seeing some light snow as you head on the Washington side uh, of the Columbia River Gorge and just a trace of snow as you head up uh, over Mount Hood. Now we are seeing clearing skies this morning uh, as our winds have now shifted around to the north. Temperatures dropping back down into the mid 30s, about 37 here in Eugene. Dew points not far behind, down to about 36. So we have started to see some fog form. A little bit of mist out of that fog this morning. Shouldn't affect the morning commute too much though, at least in town where the visibility is about four miles this morning. Uh, but that will likely continue to drop until that sun gets up and going here this morning. Colder air mass has made its way down in from the north, and that's on top of us and will stay with us here for the next couple of days. Jet stream is going to slowly start to slide east, and as it does, uh, we'll see more and more clear skies returning here to the Pacific Northwest. But we're going to have to get through Saturday. What happens on Saturday, you see as this jet stream starts to make its way to the east, uh, and we'll see this part of it right on top of us. We're going to get some clouds moving through. There's not an organized storm with this, uh, but just enough clouds to bring in a little bit of light drizzle off and on throughout the day on Saturday. But then that continues to move on to the northeast. We'll see some sunny skies move in for Sunday, uh, and it's just going to be that pattern of morning fog, afternoon sunshine, temps getting back into the mid 40s in the afternoon, but dropping down into the low 30s overnight. Uh, so again, pretty mild as we enter in the second week here of February. This morning on Precision Cast, our computer model, you can see that fog forming nicely here in the Southern Valley, also across the Umpqua Basin. As we head into this afternoon, I do expect that to break up as we have some nice north winds, uh, mostly sunny skies this afternoon from the coast all the way through central Oregon. Now, as we head into Saturday, those clouds I was talking about as that jet stream starts to slide east, those move in. And again, I'm not expecting any heavy rainfall from this, but we could see a little bit of light drizzle during the day on Friday uh, for the valley and for the coast. Just want to let you know about that in case you're out and about, uh, you know how to plan accordingly. And then as we head into Sunday, those clouds will continue to spread east and we'll get back to sunny skies. Great news if you're planning on heading up to the slopes this weekend. Gosh, beautiful weather uh, to get in some skiing or snowboarding or any other winter activities. You can see high temperatures will be in the low 30s. Winds will be out of the north at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, we've seen a little bit of light snow here over the past 24 hours. Over the past week, we've seen uh, some significant snow. So there is another weekend with fresh snow there on the slopes. Uh, just a trace though in the past 24 hours at Willamette. They have 42 inch base. Hoodoo's up to 78. Bachelor over 100 inches on the base and Meadows up to 97. So uh, a great weekend wherever you go. The coast looking at highs back into the mid 40s. Mostly sunny skies. Winds will be out of the north at 10 to 20 miles per hour. A few isolated showers on Saturday. Otherwise back to dry weather starting Sunday. The Umqua Basin mid 40s again putting up with the fog the first part of the day, otherwise sunny this afternoon. Uh, and then we're going to see that pattern again, setting up shops Sunday all the way through Tuesday. They cascades that freezing level down to the surface, high temperatures in the low 30s. Central Oregon getting back into the mid to upper 30s. Uh, and then we'll see dry conditions again as we head into next week. The valley in the mid 40s, morning fog, afternoon sunshine, a little bit drizzle Saturday, then we're in the clear.